Defer is the kick returner. <laughs> Western Michigan won the toss, elected to defer, and Central will start with the ball. Uh, Drew, let's let everybody know what's going on. Let's get it out early. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and you are from? Minnesota. Uh, so you're you're right at home in this. And me, I'm still I, cold, I, partner. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you're feeling, but I'm cold. Uh, we saw in the open. I, I'm glad you're, you're doing it well. You're going to have to carry me through this one. But, you know, this is stuff when you watch on TV, like, you kind of say, oh, I wish I can play in that. And so for some of these college kids, it'll be their first time seeing snow and playing in snow. And this is the one where you're going to see somebody get hit, and they're going to skid for like four or five yards. So we're going to play in the elements the old-fashioned way. And one of the guys who's never seen snow is Western Michigan's quarterback, Trayson Borgay. We'll talk about him in a moment. Tim Lester, he knows what this rivalry is all about. He played at Western Michigan, an outstanding quarterback in the late 90s. We asked him what his record was in this matchup, and he knew it immediately, <laughs> two and two. But he says those two losses were both game-winning field goals for Central. That's how deep this goes, and he knows what this rivalry means. And as you mentioned, Mint knew his record right away, wishes he could have those two losses back. Let's see what happens in this next chapter. Palmer Domsky will kick it away from the makeshift kicking area. Davion Stepney will return it for Central Michigan, one of the most versatile players in America who plays on both sides of the ball plus special teams. Takes it out to some yard line. Candidly, we're not entirely sure. And here comes the Central Michigan offense, and it's Burt Emanuel who will take the first snap. Is that what you expected, Jay? Well, considering what he did a week ago, when we talked to the coaches during the week, hey, if you rush for almost 300 yards on the ground, Hey, don't take the football away from me. Give me more. So we'll see how effective he can be running the football tonight. But I think they're going to throw in a little bit more wrinkles in the passing game was the game plan before the elements took over. Yeah, last week was a coming out party for this 18-year-old from Houston. And on the first play, they will go with that power quarterback run, and he gets dragged down to the backfield. Marshawn Nealon was in there first for the Broncos. I mean, for both teams, this is going to be tough sled. I mean, tough sled. 